Okay, guys, we've migrated to the work area. Ooh. And we've been working. How's that looking? We're going to use uh, different bolts when it's said and done, but that's just to hold it there. Uh, use the piece of steel. Obviously, bolted it. So, the piece of steel will be threaded because the screws we're using are size bigger. So this will get bolted on with the intake, then we'll just screw it in. Nice. Let's work on some lines. Ah, crap, I forgot the ends again. Okay, look down here working. This is kicked my butt. I still need some final tweaking, but I got two done. This is the difference between... Oh, well, look at this first. I couldn't find my flaring tool. It's lost in the move so far. That's what a double flare looks like when you use a Harbor Freight tool. Okay. That's what a double flare looks like when you buy a decent tool from the auto parts store. That's what a real double flare looks like when you use a real double flare tool. <laughs> okay. I gave one line a single white bitch with this. Didn't buff it on a machine. And I even wiped the fittings while it was in my hand. I didn't wipe the lo lower fittings. Uh, just the two fittings that are on there. So this is not on the machine. But look at the difference when you wipe it off to non-wiping it off. It's like two different things. To me, they still lean in a little. Um, but I had to do that. Now I can tweak it a little. You know what I mean? Like if it's coming like this, I could still tweak it a little. Well, not... We're not that, at that stage yet. The problem is this bend. And because I had to make this one lean in, I had to make that one lean in to match. Okay. This is an impossible bend to do. You can't do it freehand. I could do it freehand if it was the tube was coated. Uh, and you can't do it in the bend. And if you do the bend first, like I did the first time, this was just an example, or whatever it was, it comes out absolutely mint but you don't have enough room to make the flare. These are actually scrap pieces, and I'm using the bends to duplicate these. This is a... There's a 90, there's a 45. I got the tool mark. 90, 45, so then this... When you look at it from this way... If you get it at just the right angle, they should match. Well, when I lean up this way, they don't match, but if you come right at them... These things should start to match. Now, this block is at a different angle than my car. I went and looked today. I was wondering why I was having so many troubles. My block is set in a little deeper. Kinda. But this is lower than this. Which it is here too. But it leans just a hair bit more. Plus, I have the same carburetor, same intake. Plus, I got the nitrous plates. And the taller you make the carburetors, the more gradual this becomes. So, needless to say, mine, I also did my bends with the, with the coating on there, so I was able to bend it with my fingers. You can't do that. You need a real bender, like this, to do it. You can't use the cheap-ass ones, like I, like I grabbed to try, because I couldn't find my stuff. No. no. It fits in here perfect. This just puts kinks in it. And if you're leaving it exposed and you want it to look nice, you got to remember, this is softer than whatever. We're not going to get it exact, but we're going to get it nice. So, oh, we're going to take it off. So now these are going to come up, make the same bend here, but not as tight. They won't go to a 90, they'll go less. So they'll come up, or they might go to 90, and they come up, and then they get another bend and go that way. So we're trying to get these all the same. On my car, it's totally different. On my car, these almost come straight up. Yeah, so we've, I don't know what about corn hangers, we've played with this a bunch. This is the third line on this side because of this bend and how close we are. So right now I'm just trying to match it. Like I said, this can be rolled, so we're going to roll it so they're right. But as for them coming in slightly, that's going to be what it's going to be. Because at this point, if I make this end any tighter, this won't line up. This one, I, I'm pushing it. This one I did 
just using the wheel and having this thing like floating okay because that's the best way i can do it i do it with my hand didn't kink it or anything because i was riding in the half circle so that's dictating what it is so hopefully everything is so nice that you don't look whoops you're not looking at the lines uh but we'll get it guaranteed it'll, it'll be neat before we're done or we'll be done so that's pretty cool i'm gonna i think i'm gonna give the other one a wipage might as well I think that's looking pretty good. I think that's looking pretty good. Let's work on these some more. And uh, I don't know if you guys realize the cornbreads are two different heights. The cornbreads are exactly the same heights. This is machined on an angle. So the back of this is even with the back of this. The front of this is even with the front of this. And you turn the cornbread. So the back of here might appear higher than here. But it's even with the back of here. So when you put it on the car, the carburetor sit level. So, but that adds two different length fuel lines. So let's work on the other one. I think we'll go to this one first. It's the easier one. I only have three of these things. So, okay guys, we're getting tired. Like I said, some final tuning will happen to a point. I'm gonna try and make sure these are all as parallel to each other as I can. Like I said, this one's always going to dip in. That one's always going to dip in. But I want to try and keep these two parallel. And then this universal and that universal dip in. Try my best. Um, okay. This is playing in action. We know this block has to be trimmed. That's not the problem. I got the block in there. I just push to the side a little bit and the line rubs it. We are going to shorten the block a full distance and chamfer the edges. We will be nowhere near the line. But I need it there to see what the linkage is. Now, that's not a bent line. That's from other things. I've been saving all my bends and pieces and things. And well, that, that was just to, that, that was not my end. Um, like I said, these do not have to match. Obviously not going to match. I remember there's some zigs and zags of mine. See this one, the line goes down on an angle. Mine, I bring it closer to the intake and bring them down. But I, mine was easy to bend because I had the coating on it. I didn't use a tool. Uh, I very rarely use a bender. But this I have to. So, when you put the coating on there and you go to bend it, unless you just push it with your thumb, it's really hard to kink it because it, when it goes to flare out, it keeps it round. Um, but we didn't want no coating. So, looking at this, I like the distance. Oh, by the way, see the black line? That black line lines up with this. So that's what I'm shooting for. I don't care how I get to that point, but from that point on, I want to keep it parallel to the other line. As you can see coming through here, I could easily ran these lines. And, uh, okay. Um... This is no problem. Um, obviously, this bend is too tight. But the length of the bend I like. If I could bring it here, bring this bend, and then not go as far with it, this would be nice. Now, this one already has a flare on it. This is, we didn't cut the... We didn't the flare nut. We didn't cut the nut off yet. But what I do do is, you take the piece in, I don't even know what I'm videotaping. I still got no camera. Now I got one like this, which isn't a 90. It's got two ends. I go the short end, and when I go to push it down, which I don't really don't want to, like this, um, I can continue over, then straighten it. This end is longer. I use that end and made it a 90 I might land right on it so I have all different choices I could just use this instead of bending up 15 more lines okay I'll do final twisting and tweaking uh, later I am still missing one of these end things so I put the lines back on but one missing up top but we know that fits these I kept the best I could the best I could 
It's very close. And these are all very close. Um, over here, what do we got to do? It's just touching this and I got this loose. Okay, so basically we got to shorten that block. We, we have plenty of clearance here. And I have this thing adjusted so it's all the way up. So it can only go down from here. Okay, uh, this is just laying on there. What did I have to alter? Since I kept the lines kind of high, I had to alter. I just bent it out of the way for now. Okay, we're changing the shaft and this shaft when we go through the carburetors. So before I put it on, I'll trim it nice on the bottom and half around it. You'll never know. Never know. Are they exact? No. Are they a pain in the freaking balls? Yes. Anything past 5 sixteenths is a pain in the ass. It's just a pain in the ass to bend and deal with. Brake lines are beautiful. Brake lines are beautiful. Now my car's got the lines. Plus it's got the nitrous lines. It's got a, these two screws here. It's got an aluminum plate in the back. And it's got four solenoids and then the switch to activate it here. And then you see the lines just come up and go in. Come up and go in. Most people just think they're vacuum lines. They don't even realize what it is. So, um, yeah, that's one wipe. Look how fast it can get the thing dirty. I just put some on it and just started wiping it. So, that should be a breeze for me to take care of. Um, yeah. Like I said, not exact, but the best I could do under the circumstances. I think it's going to look pretty good. I don't think it's going to be the main focal point of the car. So, like I said, I had to swap this to the back to continue on. So, uh, yeah, definitely an easier job when these lines are coded. But they're not coded. <laughs> And uh, we're going for a totally different look. So, I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be really good. So, with that said, guys, um, that's a lot of work. Okay, I think uh, I think those four, those four lines just took me about four hours. So, I don't. I would have to check the time. I think it's like. I been on like 10.30 at night, and I've been on this at 6 o'clock. 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, more than 4 hours. What the fun. So, okay guys, so, like I said, the one of two things we have to do, piece of cake, we'll do that when we uh, break it down. Uh, that's it. Oh yeah.